Salut à tous les amis, j'espère que vous vous portez bien, j'espère que vous allez bien. Alors, j'ai fait une rencontre euh, il n'y a pas longtemps et je vais un peu vous expliquer de façon brève un peu comment est-ce que la situation s'est passée. Alors, le truc c'est que actuellement, pour ceux qui regardent un peu mon actualité, il m'arrive parfois de faire euh, lift ici qui est un transport en commun. Et dans, cette, euh, dans ce transport en commun en fait, c'est-à-dire euh, je transporte les gens dans la ville et tout ce qui va avec, le truc, c'est que euh, j'ai fait la rencontre d'un monsieur, en fait, qui m'a choqué, en fait. Ce monsieur m'a choqué de par son histoire. Et du coup, ce qui va se passer, c'est que vous allez regarder, en fait, euh, il m'a raconté beaucoup de choses, parfois qui, euh, qui peuvent être parfois invraisemblables, mais que dans, dans tous les cas, moi, j'y crois. Et je me dis quelque part que le fait que j'ai rencontré ce, ce, ce vieil homme n'est pas le fruit du hasard, en fait. Et c'est la raison pour laquelle j'ai décidé de faire une émission avec lui, c'est-à-dire je, je suis allé chez lui pour faire une interview avec lui, pour qu'il me raconte un peu en détail ce qu'il a vécu. Parce que il faut savoir que ce monsieur, en fait, a vécu une mort imminente, en fait. C'est-à-dire, c'est un monsieur qu'on qu avait déclaré décédé, il était dans le coma, et pratiquement décédé. Et dans, dans, dans son voyage, il va, il, va, il, va, il va voir des choses assez intéressantes que j'ai décidé de partager avec vous sur la chaîne, en fait. Donc, si tu es nouveau sur la chaîne, tu t'abonnes, tu partages la vidéo autour de toi. Et pourquoi pas, tu identifies quelqu'un afin de partager ça au plus grand nombre. Parce que je reste convaincu que c'est un messager qui est, envoyé, qui, 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 est, qui est, pourquoi pas, envoyé un message fort. Et je pense que les gens ont besoin d'écouter ce message, en fait. Alors, le truc, c'est que le, le, le message, l'interview, autant pour moi, est en anglais. Mais ce qu'on a fait, c'est qu'on a essayé de faire... Euh, une, une traduction, donc, euh, c'est-à-dire ce qu'on fait, c'est qu'on a, on a de le résumer parce qu'on ne pourrait pas aller dans le mot à mot, donc, dans tous les cas, vous allez comprendre. How are you doing today? Doing very well, thank you. Ok, you're welcome, you're welcome. So, can you, could you please ex and introduce yourself a little bit? My name is Randy Thatcher. I'm 70 years old as of yesterday. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I've lived in Omaha most of my life. I've traveled wild, you know, I've been all over. Um, but this is my home and and uh, it's always treated me well, you know. Uh, I stay out of trouble here and you know, that's the main goal in life, right? Yeah. You don't want to be in too much trouble, but uh, no, I, uh, I have, uh, I was adopted. Mm -hmm. Uh, my mom, my mom and dad adopted me when I was a baby. When I was, uh, uh, my adoption was actually July 8th, and I was born on March 27th. So, I, uh, uh, I don't, I don't know any other parents. Yeah. You know, my mom and dad were my mom and dad. You know, I don't. Uh, I'm looking for some family members now mm -hmm. through ancestry, and. Uh, Uh, I think my son has talked to my brother, my real brother, uh -huh. um, who is uh, three years older than I am. But uh, the other brother that was in between us mm -hmm. passed away a while back. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much, you know, I like to hunt, fish, uh, everything, you know. Okay, yeah. So what did you do for a living? I worked for the railroad. For okay. uh, four years. Ok. 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 Uh, je vais traduire en fait um, ce que le monsieur a dit. Son nom s'est rendu et il a 70 ans. Il a eu son anniversaire hier et il est de Omaha ici au Nebraska et il a travaillé au, comment on appelle ça, au chemin de fer. Mm. Donc uh, et il a été adopté. Donc c'est un peu le résumé de ce qu'il vient de dire. Ok. So. Okay, so uh, the reason why we met, basically, I mean, that was very strange, but... Uh, that works, you know. It, yeah, <laughs> but uh, I would like to uh, learn about your story because uh, I feel like uh, at some point you are a messenger. So, my first, I mean, my first question is, uh, what happened to you exactly? I fell. Okay. Um, 
I could show you. Um, it's it's rather ugly, but what happened was I landed on my tailbone, mm -hmm. and it shoved my spine through my bottom, uh, right at the right at the top, uh -huh. and uh, <clears throat> I also had a cyst on my lung. Wow! And because of that, um, I went to the hospital. Uh, unaware, I was out. My son found me several days after I'd gone out. What? And uh, they called an ambulance and I went to the hospital. Uh -huh. And uh, I was in three hospitals and a nursing home uh -huh. over the period of a year. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I went to Madonna Hospital and uh, um, they found out there, you know, they sent me down there for rehab, mm -hmm. but I wasn't ready for rehab. They found out shortly after I was down there that I had this cyst on my lung. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've had to take, they had to take part of my lung off mm -hmm. in order to um, keep it from spreading okay. or getting gangrene. Okay. Okay. Uh, en fait, uh, Warren a rencontré ce, ce monsieur et ce monsieur lui a raconté une histoire et on a pensé que cette histoire était très importante pour vous la raconter. Donc, en fait, uh, on est avec le monsieur uh, en train de faire la vidéo pour qu'il raconte en fait son histoire. Donc, comme il disait toujours, on va faire le résumé. Mm -hmm. En fait, il vit seul, le monsieur, c'est déjà un vieux et il était tombé. Donc, sept jours après... Son fils l'a retrouvé. Sept jours après, son fils mm -hmm. euh, l'a retrouvé. On l'a emmené à l'hôpital, en fait. Donc, euh, c'est ce qu'il est en train de raconter maintenant. Il a fait beaucoup, beaucoup d'hôpitaux et on écoute la suite. Ok, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you can keep talking about your story. Yeah. Oh, ok. I, uh, is that what she was saying? Yeah, I mean? yeah, she just translate. Yeah, okay. everything you say, she's translate that. Yeah. Because you don't understand as well as she does. No, no, no. I mean, I just want. Oh, I'm no, the one. No, I'm the one who ask a question. Yeah. Uh -huh. You respond, and, and she, she translates. Translate. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a teamwork. That's fair. I mean, yeah. You know, hey. <laughs> um, no, I. Uh, and somewhere along that period. Uh -huh. um, I'm not sure if it was during the lung. Mm -hmm. I mean, my my sons told me I was in a coma uh -huh. for 20 days. Wow. Uh, they only usually let you stay in a coma for 17 days, then they pull the plugs and you die. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, but they kept me on for 20 days, mm -hmm. and somewhere in there, I had the opportunity mm -hmm. to meet our Christ, our the people that are in this world. I mean, as far as I know, and from what I experienced, mm -hmm. The Hindus probably have it the closest. I don't believe that we come back as worms or trees or rocks. Mm -hmm. I believe we come back as humans all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we're actually blessed to come to Earth. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not sure where the veil is, and I'm going to explain the veil. Mm -hmm. The veil is all around us. Um, we we vibrate our genes and our our atoms vibrate at a different rate, mm -hmm. so that um, we can't see them; they can't see us. But if you go through the veil, mm -hmm. and the veil is very. Um, it's the first thing I remember because uh, I don't remember I was in a coma. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't remember anything mm -hmm. except once I went through the veil. Mm -hmm then everything became clear. Mm -hmm. And I understood that, you know, I was, uh, uh, I was in a place that I have never felt so much love, mm -hmm. so much compassion, mm -hmm. so much um, just, oh, I felt good. I, I can't explain it. You can't dream it. Mm -hmm. I know I can't dream it. Mm -hmm. I was just talking to a girl that I used to date when I was 19 years old here mm -hmm. a little bit ago. And she goes, you were just dreaming all that. I said, you know what? You can't dream it. Mm -hmm. You can't imagine it. It's 
so powerful of a feeling. And you know, I, I thought about my, um, my loved ones, my sons, mm -hmm. my ex-wife, um, and you know, people that I love. Um, but I thought, you know what? They're gonna get over it, and I'm happy right here, you know. Mm -hmm. And when they told me I had to come back, I was just like, ah, oh, no, mm -hmm. you know. And the man who I assume was either Jesus, God, mm -hmm. Saint Peter, I don't know who. I mean, it wasn't like he walked up and said, "Hi, mm -hmm. I'm Jesus." Mm -hmm. I mean, he was he was standing there in this cave but from nothing else I can explain it was a cave but it, it was made out of that uh, uh, foamy volcanic rock I don't know if you've ever seen it but it's very sharp um, very bubbly mm -hmm. you know it's uh, it's the it's the lava that comes to the surface you know but it was it was emitting light it wasn't reflecting light it was emitting light and I could feel that I knew that I just knew all this it was crazy and I also felt like I was familiar there you know I felt like I had been there before and I was known you know it wasn't like it was oh you know number 813 or whatever no it was it was a it was a personal um, Connection. relationship mm -hmm. you know I'd have that relationship for a long time mm -hmm. I don't think I'm a young soul mm -hmm. you know there are old people with young souls but mm -hmm. there's also old people that have old souls and usually those are the people that are more knowledgeable they are more able to you know mm -hmm. tell you to settle down you know if you get excited mm -hmm. and more able to uh, love you know mm -hmm. completely because that is the most important lesson that people have to learn. You don't die. We don't die. We live on for a long, long time. You know, and I, I got all this through just a short period of time that I was there. Mm -hmm. You know, I understood that I was a very lucky man to be on earth, you know. Mm -hmm. And and I believe that uh, we, um, we need to love everyone, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's absolutely necessary, you know? And you, you always have people that are, for lack of a better word, mm -hmm. they're not nice, they're, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, they don't understand uh, love between, say, you, you, me, I'm white. You guys are black. I mean, mm -hmm. who cares? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We all. When I, if I cut your finger, it's going to bleed the same red blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we are all alike. Nobody weighs more. Nobody weighs less. Yeah. We are alike. You know, and we are built here to love. Yeah. And if you don't love, you're not going to be happy. You know, I found out. I mean, I was a kid. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was taught wrong in certain areas of my life. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you, you have a tendency to, you know, be a, what do you want to say, a racist, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And luckily, my dad had a lot of black friends mm -hmm. that worked with him mm -hmm. at Northern Natural Gas. And they were always over at the house. And they were, I don't know, I just love them, you know, absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's, it's hard it's so hard to explain yeah. to people that don't understand how we uh, need to be yeah. friendly to one another or to love each other. Yeah. You know, and yeah. especially little dolls like that. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so... When you went over there, uh, the person you saw, like, he tell you something, have you... Uh, he told me uh -huh. that he was sorry, but word for word, he said, 
Randy, you have to go back. And I know I went, ah, oh, 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 no. I did not want to go back. I was happy. Mm -hmm. I was totally happy. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, no, there's something that you need to do. He didn't tell me what. That's why I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. Because I think I need to spread mm -hmm. this word to everybody, mm -hmm. you know. Um, no matter where you're from or what you believe in, mm -hmm. we are so alike. You know, here's a little fact for you. You know how far, the farthest you can be related from somebody on earth? 250th cousin. That's it. It, it, does, it never goes wider than that. Yeah. You know, so you know, I mean, we're cousins. Mm -hmm. We might be 250, you know, generations, but we're still cousins. Mm -hmm. We're still the same people, you know? Mm -hmm. you know? We're meant to be happy and caring mm -hmm. and loving. I mean, that's that's what I got out of that whole thing. Yeah. You know, I can't explain it any better. Yeah. Um, I wish I could, but um, like I said, when I went through that veil, mm -hmm. and the veil's like, it's hard to explain. So, um, is, is, do you think it's like a forest, a thing like that? It's it's a it's like a like a garden. Um, the veil is like a, a sheet hanging from a clothesline, only much bigger. Mm -hmm. And when you put your hand through it, mm -hmm. it separates. Oh. You know, I mean, it's very thin. Uh -huh. You can't really feel it, but you can see what's happening. Mm -hmm. And you open that veil and walk in there, mm -hmm. and suddenly you just feel so warm, so, oh, uh, I, I, it makes me want to cry how much <laughs> love That's that okay. I felt. That's okay. It was, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't, I don't know how to, you know, other than hugging you mm -hmm. and telling you that I love you, mm -hmm. um, and that's only maybe a 15th or a 20th of how you feel. Mm -hmm. um, and I know it was real. I know I couldn't have dreamt it because I could never dream that. Yeah. How could I dream something that I had no basis in reality? None. You know, how would I know that? You know, it just, it was amazing. When I woke up, I mean, I was like, it was oh, yeah. overwhelming, overwhelming. And life is, is that's what we're about. Yeah. Until we get it right, it's still going to keep happening. We need to get it right. Yeah. You know, people need to love each other mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. And... So there's no, excuse me, mm -hmm. there's no, uh, uh, what do I want to say? Um, there's no excuse for bad behavior. Yeah. That is not rewarded in heaven. Yeah. I guarantee you. That's right. It's not. Yeah. And the thing I got out of it is if you got to give your life up to save another's, like say your daughter, mm -hmm. that's a good thing. You know, that is a very good thing. Mm -hmm. That's something that you need to understand that, you know, it's what you got to do. Yeah. And, you know, you'll know it. Absolutely. You know, you'll know it. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, before this um, uh, situation happened to you, before, did, uh, did you define yourself like a religion, religious person? No. I still don't. You don't no. think is it relate to uh, any kind of religion? I don't. I don't think so. No, mm -hmm. I wasn't. You know, I went to church. I mean, I, I was both a Methodist and a Catholic. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, I honestly believe that the Dalai Lama mm -hmm. is absolutely the most religious person on this planet. You know, if you know who the Dalai Lama yeah, yeah, is, I do. okay. Mm -hmm. If you ever read any of his books, you will be amazed. This man knows a lot, a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. And he's a Buddhist, and Buddhists have kind of a different, you know, outtake on things. I mean, you got to think, 
there, he's from Tibet, mm -hmm. and Tibet was taken over by China in the Second World War. Yeah. And uh, you know, but the man is a oh, phenomenal. If you ever get a chance to read any of his books, and he has many, you want to read those because that guy, mm -hmm. he can put you on the right path. Okay, okay. So when you went to the valley, like you said, did you feel like uh, your family member might miss you at some point? Oh yeah, and immediately. Uh -huh. I thought, well, I thought I'm dead. Uh -huh. I know I'm dead. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm in a place that I could never imagine or dream of. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, they're going to miss me. Mm -hmm. And I really feel bad about that. Mm -hmm. But I know they're going to get over it, you know. Mm -hmm. And they will understand truly when they pass through also. Mm -hmm. They're going to know that I didn't abandon them. It yeah. wasn't like that. It was, it was, uh, you know, you know, and I was willing to, I was willing to deal with that, you yeah. know. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're going to be sad, but you know what? I could stay right I'm here and I'm right just place. happy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go anywhere farther, you know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it, it was a good experience, uh, absolutely. You know, it changed a lot of my thinking. Mm -hmm. um, the way I treat people, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I was never, I've never been, you know, for lack of a better word, a prick. Yeah. But I've been, um, you know, kind of standoffish, I guess, maybe you'd say. Not, not against anybody in particular, but, you know, certain people just kind of, you know, yeah. they abrade on you. Well, I think, um, I think that's all part of this whole deal. You know, I don't know exactly how it all works mm -hmm. because I wasn't there long enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but what I understood immediately mm -hmm. was that we're we're not done. Mm -hmm. When you die, you get to do it all over again. Start out just like her. So, oh, you mean like when we die, we we reborn again? Yeah. Like, oh, many, yeah. many times. Oh, yeah? Yes. But like I said, mm -hmm. it's not like the Hindus believe. Uh -huh. They believe that you can come back as an earthworm. Oh, yes, no. yes. Uh -huh. Look, we're human. We're always going to be human. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. We may be, I may be uh, from Laos or Philippines or Alaska yes. or uh -huh. who knows the next yeah. time, but you always remain a human. Wow. You know, because you have that you know, mm -hmm. mental capacity. Worms don't think like we do, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Neither do birds mm -hmm. or water buffalo, for Christ's sake. Nobody believes, yeah. nobody knows what we know. And I also believe, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, that I think we were put here. I don't think we evolved. No. Not at all. Mm -hmm. wow. We were born just the way you are, Mm -hmm. I was born just the way I am. We didn't change from, you know, mm -hmm. being gorillas to, you know, being a bipedal primate mm -hmm. to becoming a human. There's no proof of that. They can't, you know, there's there's a big gap there. All of a sudden, Cro-Magnon mm -hmm. was here. You know, yeah. there was Neanderthal, there was Cro-Magnon, and there was Homo sapiens, us. Yes. There's no jump in between, mm -hmm. you know. We we are in our maker's eyes. We are mm -hmm. like God. Yeah. Do you, you know? think? Do you think there's still uh, there is a heaven and uh, hell? Hell. Yeah. I mean, I kind of think I really lucked out, to be honest with you, because uh -huh. I know where I was at was uh -huh. not hell. Yeah. And, you know, I've done some not right things mm -hmm. in my life. Everybody has. Yeah. Um, but I know where I was at. If I, if I was in hell, uh -huh. I believe you create your own hell. Yeah. That's how I firmly believe. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're a bad person, yeah. 
you're going to create that hell mm -hmm. and you're going to have to live in it. And if you're a good person mm -hmm. who treats people right, mm -hmm. you get to go to heaven and feel the love of God. Yeah. You know, because that's that's where you want to end up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, where you want to end up. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But so, yeah, oh, sorry about that. That's all right. Yeah. So that was the first the first time you passed away or yeah. did you pass away a lot of time? No, just just, just one. Just time? Once. Oh. That was enough. Oh. <laughs> of course. Of it course. was it was enough to let me know mm -hmm. that yeah. I'm not worried. The only thing I worry about Diane uh -huh. is I don't want to do it painfully. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I don't want to suffer and, and die slowly. Yeah. Just take me yeah. so I can get over there mm -hmm. and be okay. Yeah. And I don't know, um, the other thing I got out of that uh, deal was time. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Time is not the same here mm -hmm. as it is there. I, I mean, I know for a fact it's not because if you're... Uh, if you're there for, say, five minutes, mm -hmm. I believe it could be a year down here or right. over here. I mean, mm -hmm. I think the veil's all around us. I mean, you're, we walk amongst our, our forefathers and our, um, anybody that you loved in your life, mm -hmm. you know, if they passed on, mm -hmm. A, they're very lucky. Dying is a good thing and don't ever think that it is. And um, I mean, it's all personal. When you die, mm -hmm. you miss somebody. I miss you, you know, mm -hmm. you're my best friend and you died, yeah. I miss you. Mm -hmm. It would hurt me, mm -hmm. but you'll be fine mm -hmm. and so will I in the end, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's all personal. Yeah. Death, you know, the way we treat death, yeah. It's uh, it's not how it is. Wow. People that die are very blessed. Yeah. Especially if they live, you know, a fairly decent life. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, I know you have. I mean, you're a good man. I can tell she's a good lady, and you know, you got a great daughter. That's a daughter, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. She looks like a little girl. <laughs> she is. Yeah. Okay. On resume en fait tout ce qu'il a dit. Il est allé dans le coma pour 20 jours. Normalement, à 17 jours, on doit euh, le débrancher. Mais en fait, en allant dans le coma, il est passé dans un autre monde, en fait. C'est à cause de ça qu'on a décidé de faire l'interview avec lui parce qu'il nous racontait ce qui s'est passé dans l'autre monde. Dans l'autre monde, il était dans un monde où il, était, il avait vraiment les privilèges. Il y avait la paix là-bas. Il a rencontré. Il ne sait pas si c'est Dieu, si c'est quel prophète. Mais... Lui, il était constant là-bas en fait. Donc après, Dieu lui a dit faut qu'il repart dans le monde parce que son temps n'était pas encore arrivé. Mais lui ne voulait pas parce que là-bas, il était vraiment en paix. C'était un monde différent de notre monde. Là-bas, il n'y avait pas le temps. Donc pendant que lui était mort, et ici, les gens de sa famille étaient en train de pleurer pendant cinq minutes. ok. Mais là-bas, il n'y avait pas le temps. Là-bas, c'est comme s'il a déjà passé des années, des années, des années. Et il regardait comment eux, ils étaient en fait en paix. Mais lui... C'était, en fait, là-bas, c'était un bon choix, en fait. Là-bas, il n'y avait, y avait, avait pas de problème, il était content. Et en fait, l'histoire, il nous raconte qu'en fait, il faut qu'on s'aime, quoi. Il faut qu'on soit euh, nice, qu'on soit gentil avec tout le monde, en fait. Il faut qu'on fasse du bien, en fait. Il parle juste de l'amour. On doit s'aimer, on n'est pas différent, noir, blanc, rouge. Yeah. Non, okay, on doit s'aimer l'amour, l'amour, l'amour. Yeah. Donc c'est ce qu'il racontait, euh, la mort c'est pas en fait une mauvaise chose. Et il disait qu'il n'y a pas de mort. Quand tu meurs, tu passes de l'autre côté, la vie continue en fait. Tu continues la vie jusqu'à yeah. des années, des années, des années, ça ne finit pas en fait. Donc il disait, euh, en fait quand quelqu'un meurt, il est dans un endroit en fait qui est bien. C'est les gens qui restent au monde, qui se font du souci mais... Après ça va passer, quand eux-mêmes ils vont passer de l'autre monde, ils vont en fait savoir que euh, ici le monde en fait c'était un bon monde. Donc on a trouvé l'histoire là agréable à vous raconter. Yeah. So, uh, do you think we, we can meet like some family member when he passed away? Like, oh yeah, definitely. Family passed away yes. before us? Yes, you're going to see your family members. 
yeah, they're going to be there. Wow. You know, they'll they'll be there, you know, waiting for you. Wow. Um, if you get farther than I got, yeah. you know, I kind of basically went up to the counter and they said, see ya. Wow. I mean, but it was, it was congenial. I mean, it wasn't like, get out of here, you know. <laughs> it was, you know, I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. I do now, but I didn't then. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, because I think when I died, I was in a coma, uh -huh. you know. Mm -hmm. So when I'm, okay, here's the veil right here. When I'm laying on a hospital bed right here, mm -hmm. and I, I'm not alert, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. But as soon as I went through the veil, mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. I was aware, and, you know, I I knew that I was okay, yeah. you know, and I wanted to be there. I definitely wanted to be there. Mm -hmm. wow. I did not want to come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was my next question. You yeah. didn't want to come back. <laughs> no, I, I was happy with being there, but mm -hmm. yes, I, I truly believe you're going to see family members. Um, um, and I, I'm, I, you know, all that mechanism there is probably in our understanding mm -hmm. that we know and things that your soul knows mm -hmm. um, that you carry with you um, the soul is <sighs> we possess knowledge far beyond uh -huh. the knowledge that we think we know mm -hmm. I mean uh, our uh, every do you ever meditate yeah Meditation is good. I mean, it, it uh, makes you work on your third eye, mm -hmm. and and to be able to understand um, the metaphysical world that yeah. we're in, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah. Okay. Hi. <laughs> hey. Hello. <laughs> so my uh, my so, what do you want the world? know about your experience right now <clears throat> just what i just told you mm -hmm. i want people to know that love is the most important thing mm -hmm. to um the reason we're here you know mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is uh, something i want to portray because i understand it now mm -hmm. more than i ever did before mm -hmm. but you know you believe in aliens? No, but I, I know okay, that... Okay, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> okay. Aliens mm -hmm. seem to show up around nuclear sites a lot. Mm -hmm. Because when a nuclear bomb is set off, uh -huh. it rips through the veil and it hurts people on the other side. Mm -hmm. That's oh, why they're not allowing. I think that aliens uh -huh. are our people mm -hmm. coming down and trying to control a situation mm -hmm. that needs to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. wow. I truly believe that, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that, uh, I think they're right. Wow. God, I don't want, I mean, we've got enough nuclear weapons out there yeah. to blow this earth up five times over. Oh yeah. I mean, come on, Yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and the thing is, I truly believe that whether they're astral beings mm -hmm. from um, heaven, yeah, or if they're actually aliens that understand more than we do, obviously, mm -hmm. they're trying to make sure that that never happens. Yeah. So I don't believe it's ever gonna, because that is not good. Yeah. That's very evil and. It has to stop. It happened once before. Yeah. With Marabahata, mm -hmm. you know, from, from India. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they found, you know, uh, glass in mm -hmm. the middle of the desert mm -hmm. that the only way it could have been produced with huge heat, you know. And I got to tell you, I believe that something's going on there that I don't understand either, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So my last question is, uh, what is your message for young people right now? Like, 
how generation what do you want to tell us what is your advice at this point You know, um, it's a strong feeling that I have now that I'm older, mm -hmm. uh, that I wish I would have known when I was younger mm -hmm. to care about people a lot more than I ever did. Mm -hmm. That was my big failure. It wasn't on purpose. It just, I didn't know. I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. But I think that caring for others definitely on the right path you know mm -hmm. definitely yeah wow thank I mean, you so much uh, thank you so much thank, thank you so much you're that's welcome. so good